Hello guys, in the third part of the video tutorials we will create the support for shock absorber in FreeCAD part design workbench. So let's open the FreeCAD and in previous video tutorials we have created these two bodies. It was screw and nut and in this uh, part of the video tutorial let's activate the part design workbench and create the body. And in this body we will create the model of shock absorber uh, support and let's create the sketch and choose the exit plane for creation of sketch and here let's create the rectangle And let's set the dimensions for this rectangle. It will be the bottom part of the support with hole. Let's set the third millimeters and make the symmetry with y axis, z axis. Sorry, okay, it will be 50 millimeters and set the vertical dimension for the rectangle. Also, we have created the field for two corners and let's choose two field and make the radius constraint dimension and you can set for both 8 millimeters for example let's make the more radius it will be 12 millimeters and let's set the vertical dimensions now it will be 25 and we have the fully connected sketch here let's create the also the hole of the bottom part of the support and set the position of center of this hole radius okay and so let's close the sketch and for the sketch we make the extrude operation and make the symmetry yes symmetry condition and click OK So let's change the position of the screw and we'll because we will be working with this part. Okay, let's hide of this bodies and choose the sketch on this surface. Create the sketch on the surface and create the circle with the radius constraint it will be 15 millimeters. It makes the extrusion for the sketch. Okay. And now choose this plan for creation of sketcher and let's import the external point from model and make the rectangle for this point. And let's make the revolve cut operation and we will make the cylinder shape of our part detail let's make the some bigger the radius okay now it looks good 
and let's oh, let's show our screw and nut you can make it with space uh, bottom okay now let's hide it also to make the bottom okay uh, and let's create this circle in the sketch it's 25 radius and let's see it how it looks close the sketch and let's make the extrusion for the sketch I think this 5 mm thickness will be enough and let's make the small circle of the support it will be 4.9 and let's make the extrusion I think this number is good and let's show our another bodies <coughs> and let's make chamfer on this edge let's set one millimeters I think is enough looks good and uh, now let's change the position of our model and see how looks it in assembly with another bodies let's rotate it in y direction show this another bodies body one and body <coughs> and make the transform and see how it looks here it looks good let's uh, make the transparency for screw and we can see the hole in this part yes So uh, we have finished for creation of the support. Let's set the transparency zero. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye.